Well, hello guys, this is your girl Diva Diva Fashionista and I am bringing you a product review and I am, I don't really know how to feel right now. Like I'm excited, but then I'm just like, girl, it's about time. <laughs> uh, I am talking about this product here. It's the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Now, I know you're probably like, girl, that's nothing new. That's been out in the market forever and forever and ever and ever. And it has in the original color called Hula. It's been out and I've been watching some of my like OG YouTubers that I've been watching forever use this product, rave about this product. And I couldn't use it because <laughs> me and the bronzer are the same shade. So um, I've been actually been on a hunt for a good bronzer for a little over a year now and just not really finding exactly what I want in a bronzer. So I'm excited to try this one out. Now I haven't swatched it, brand new product. I just purchased it. I, I looked at it and I felt like, all right, that's going to work. That's going to work for me. Um, so I just picked it up, but, um, I'm really excited. I'm excited to, to use it. This is a matte bronzer to give you, it says it will sweep this all over your face for that beachy bronze. So it's winter time well today's the first day of spring so it's spring now but i'm super pale i actually am wearing the wrong shade of foundation i tried to go lighter and i think i went a little too light so i definitely need a bronzer to try to bring back some warmth to my face now i see people always ask not my comments and other people's comments like what's the difference between contouring and bronzing and it's just that like contouring you just want to add some depth and you know Bring back, you know, the color to the natural contours of your face. You could try to make things look slimmer, chop it, hi highlight, you know, the high points in your face. And, you know, try to put shadow onto the, to the low parts, like, or chubbier parts of your face. It's just really sculpting, you know, and going over your contours. Whereas bronzing is, if you want that beachy glow, you want to look naturally kissed by this well some of us are naturally kissed by some melanated you know <laughs> i guess they are y'all don't need that but yeah you want to after you put your foundation and your powder on you want to put some warmth in your face you want to look bronze too like you know so it's good that now that there's a well there are other products and i actually have some here to show you which i will show you after i get to the swatches so like you just want the swatches want to see how this product looks we're going to do that first and then i'll show you it compared to some products that i already use so now this retails for 30 dollars, which gave me pause at first when i first saw i saw it a couple weeks ago i looked at it and i left it i just like i don't i don't necessarily need a 30 dollar um bronzer especially knowing that it didn't have any shimmer in it because that's my ideal bronzer i like a little shimmer in it um i didn't need it and the other thing was, it was just like, just the feeling of, it's been so long without us having something in that we could use. Like, do I want to now in 2019, you know, f go and support a brand that kind of neglected me for so long? You know, so I, I left it, but then I kept thinking about it and I was doing my makeup and I was like, I should have, I should have picked it up. So I went back to Ulta and I picked it up. So... Now, at first, I also didn't know how to open it. When I first, like that first day and I saw it, it was closed on the display. And I'm like, how can you open this thing? So it actually opens like a, like a jewelry box, like opens up like that. So I'm glad I figured that out. <laughs> has a little mirror inside and it still has the film because I haven't even used it. Brand new. I'm sure I showed you, but I'll show you again. And it came with this little brush, which I just took out of the packaging. So... I'm going to go ahead and try it with this brush and see how I like it. So I'm just going to dab it in there a few times and this is what this looks like with it on. And this mirror is tiny. Like I, I wouldn't use this, this mirror. So I'm going to use a bigger one. So I'm glad I have one handy. <laughs> and I'm just going to go on in. Now, nor, I don't have any other product on my face besides like my foundation and powder. Um, normally at this point in my, um, makeup routine, I would have, um, contoured, but I didn't want to put anything on my face that might change the, the color of the product or make it appear to be, um, any different. I tend to do that when I do swatches. I, I don't 
put liner or anything like that because I don't want it to look any different. Now, this is showing up on my skin. And because it's matte, I would actually use this to contour. But um, I don't like this brush. I don't, like... I'm supposed to, it says sweep, so I'm supposed to sweep. So maybe if I try that, instead of just dabbing it like I was, and uh, yeah, let's see. So yeah, it blended out really good, and um, just get closer and show you. So this is it. And this is my face without any bronzer. So face with bronzer. Well, face without any bronzer. And I actually like this shade. I am, now normally I wouldn't use that. I like a dome or a rounded brush to um, bronzer contour my face. So I would actually probably use this. And this is just the, my bezel is loose. This is just the Morphe uh, E48. So this is what I would prefer. So I'm actually going to use that to bronze up the other side of my face. So I'm just going to dab that in there and look how much product. So be careful because look how much product this picked up versus <laughs> the little brush it came with. So I'm actually going to just like dab a little bit of that there and then dab a little bit of it here. So that I don't just get a big old brown <laughs> spot on my face. And so then I would just. Go ahead and just, I like to buff it. Like, I would just go over my natural contours and just buff it out in, like, a C shape. This is what I feel most comfortable doing. Yeah, this feels natural to me. This feels like the right thing to do. And, um, yeah, so let's see how that came out. Versus, see that? Now, I, wanna, I feel like I just want to put more. <laughs> I just want to put a little bit more yeah like I like this so I usually just do my temples and I'm actually going to go over this side as well just to feel like yeah like everything is cohesive so yeah I, I, I like this I I like this this is this is nice now if you need a bronzer get this if you needed something, you're of a darker complexion, and you need something to actually like show up on your face. And yeah, you could build this up. See, I'm building it up. Like, I, I like it. I probably still, because this is a bronzer, I would contour. I tend to cream contour, and I tend to, yeah, I cream contour. I would use a cream contour under this, which right now I do not have one. So, yeah, I would still, <laughs> I would still contour. But I, I do like this. I do recommend this, and I'm glad I did. I picked it up. I do enjoy this product. If we could get some with a shimmer, this same color with some shimmer. So this, they actually extended the whole sh shade range. They have light now. So if hula was too dark for you, you can now go to hula light. The shade a little darker than hula is hula caramel and then you have this shade which i have which if i'm sorry if i didn't say this is hula toasted okay so just to show you some things that i, I normally use and if we're going to do like a compare and contrast now i normally use this this is the black radiance press powder it's not an actual bronzer um but i usually use this to like contour uh and this is in rich mahogany and if we could get a side by side and i'm trying to not get the mirror up you can see hula is darker and has a little more red in it you know again this is not a bronzer this is now i wanted to show you the og another og product that we've been using forever and ever which is the queen um bronzer the queen ebony bronzer i believe i forgot i threw it out because that one was just a little too dark for me and way too red for my um, skin tone. So I actually did throw it out. And I'm so upset with myself for not holding on to it. So I could show that to you. So this is another item which is dusty. That I actually use to um, 
to contour bronze. I believe the middle one is the actual the bronzer. Yep, because it says contour, sculpt, and um, highlight. So this is a mess. I actually broke it, but I was able to save it with uh, with the alcohol. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, I feel like this shade, the one in the middle is too light, and then the first one is too dark. And this is the Black Radiance, another Black Radiance product. Um, this is the medium, the contour palette in medium to dark. So this is too dark that's too light i wind up mixing it um the actual the hula is actually just right but at five dollars eight dollars and thirty could kind of could kind of just decide what what would be a better fit for you and then my actual bronzer the thing that i actually use the most this is what i found that I feel like works the best for my complexion What for bronzing after I actually contour, which is two steps. I feel like I could just use the bronzer and I could be fine. But if I use this, which is the e.l.f. bronzer, this, this is the deep bronzer. If I use this, this I have to contour first. I have to go over because this, this is just going to add the warmth, which is what you're looking for. This is going to add the warmth and not really color to my face. So as you can see, this is way darker than this is. And I tend to use just these two colors here, which I love. I'm just going to give you a little quick finish um, swatch. I love because you see, you see the shimmer in that? And you see, this is just a little darker. So I tend to just use these, both of these two. And um, go ahead and, you see, you see the red? And then the depth. And then if I just get a quick swatch of the hula, look how much darker than these two it is. So, which is why I love this. I will probably not stop using my elf because i do like the shimmer in it but um believe this was probably about eight dollars i really don't remember so it's what you want to do with your money and for your budget i this is a hit this is a winner i even though i was reluctant this is a winner i do like and i do enjoy it so if you are in the market for a bronzer the benefit hula and the toasted is one to look out for so that is it for this video if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below if you aren't already please go ahead and subscribe i have a couple makeup videos coming up another one i'm about to do a lip swatch video which is why my lips are bare and i'm gonna go finish this face honey because i like a little bit more level of a beat and uh yeah that's it um thank you so much for watching and if i don't catch you you'll catch me in the next one which is coming right up later.